Right. Fans, friends, and family arrived early this morning to say a final goodbye to Bobby Bowden, the famed FSU coach who died last Sunday at the age of 91, leaving behind such a legacy. Messages from those who loved him most say the biggest part of his life was faith. Mike Batslinda was there. At least 200 people were waiting outside when the doors opened an hour and a half before the celebration began. He knew where he was going and he was assured of his salvation. Chris McKinnon and his mom Pat came because Chris spent eight years attending Bobby Bowden's youth football camps. I couldn't wait to go to it every summer. I was so excited. Inside, they were treated to years of highlights. If they don't score, we win. And we do want to win, right? Players told stories of how they grew to be men under Bowden. He showed up for me for the most difficult times in my life. I'm forever grateful for that. But I wouldn't be here today without Coach. Coaches say they learned to be tough. He stood for doing your best. And he was going to hold you accountable to it. The program includes this 2004 letter Bowden wrote to his children, telling them that he was certain he was going to heaven and that he would consider his life a failure if they didn't eventually join him. Dearest Anne, I will see you later. Forever yours, Bobby Bowden. And the finale was one of the few that placed emphasis on football. I think he would be proudest that football really did kind of come in only sparingly in this entire discussion. Indeed. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Massalinda, eat on your side.